Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life, and today I have such an exciting video. This is my Halloween fall book video. Basically, I have all of these books featuring, focusing on Halloween. I love seasonal books, especially kid books for my toddler. I have a two-year-old, so some of these we used last year. I purchased a couple more this year. I will probably have another kind of Halloween haul soon here on my channel. So if you like toddler videos, seasonal videos, especially like book hauls and things like that. My son loves books and puzzles. Be sure to subscribe. I have a toddler puzzles video as well if you're interested, but let's get into the good stuff of what these Halloween books are and a little bit more about them. So I just kind of collected all of our Halloween books. I have like a main bookshelf in his room that kind of is just like the generic books. Then in his closet, we kind of segregate all the different holidays and they all kind of rotate out that way. So I don't have the Halloween books out until after like the summertime. So once it starts to turn into August and I am feeling fall, pumpkin spice lattes are out, all that kind of stuff, I will bring these fall books out. Then once Halloween is over, I do have some Thanksgiving books. I don't think I have those here to share with you guys, but I do have some kid Thanksgiving books and then that's when the Christmas will come out, will be November 1st. But I'm excited to share with you guys these. So let's just get started in no particular order. Like I said, I just kind of pulled from where we keep the seasonal books, but the first one here is the Baby Touch and Feel Halloween book. And these like baby touch and feel books are perfect for under one one because they barely have any words on top and they're all you can touch and feel them like it says. So there's just a couple like one sentence here and there. Ours has been used and abused. I do kind of keep books in the crib with Jackson as well. So he, they get a lot of love, but we've had this book probably for a good two years. My son is going to be two and a half this month, so this one is pretty good if you want one of the more touch and feel books. It's pretty durable, and there's just different things for them to touch. So this one is a nice kind of starter book. We recently got this book, and Jackson's obsessed. This is called Spooky Pooky by Sandra Boynton. Boynton? I guess that's how you say it. And basically the Pookie series, there are a whole bunch of kind of Pookie books. It's a little pig and it's like a pig and the mom kind of books series. And this one is the Halloween one. So basically in this book, the little Pookie is trying to figure out his Halloween costume for the year. And then what's really cute is at the end of the book, he turns into a ghost and kind of scares his mom who goes eek. And then it says, no, it's just me, Spooky Pookie. Jackson now is trying to pretend to be a ghost. And then I'll be like, ah, and he'll be like, no, it's just me, Jackson. So really cute book, durable. It is a board book. And yeah, cute for Halloween. This next one isn't a board book, but this is another one of his favorites that we picked up this season. This is the Spooky Wheels on the Bus. So every toddler knows the Wheels on the Bus song, but this is kind of the spooky Halloween edition. And it talks about kind of the spooky wheels, spiders on the bus, the mummies on the bus and the monsters on the books and it goes to the same kind of the wheels on the bus song so it is one of those sing along a book kind of songs that your kid will remember and they will start to read the book if you know what i'm saying so jackson will turn the page and be like the witches go he 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 or cackle cackle howl and he'll like remember that kind of stuff which is really cute but this is such a cute halloween book especially if they like the kind of sing along halloween or sing along books this one's really cute, so check it out. Another one of those kind of touch and feel books that we got his first Halloween. This is my first Halloween from Disney, Touch and Feel. And a lot of the pages, not every page, it's more the page on the right has the touch and feel, but it just has the different kind of items, a witch's hat, black cat, pumpkins with faces, spooky places, and just different things to feel. And Jackson really liked this book growing up and he likes to still play and feel them as well. So this is a cute touch and feel book, Disney. We love Disney here in this house. The next one has 
been used and abused. I, I got this last year and kind of let Jackson play with it a little bit too much. So these are a lift and flat book. This is the Daniel Tiger Neighborhood. Happy Halloween, Daniel Tiger. And this is one of those PBS Kids shows. Has an episode too, but some of these flaps have kind of ripped off. They're not like the sturdy like board flaps. They're definitely just the paper flaps, but we still like the story none the same. They're all trying to figure out what their Halloween costume's going to be. You kind of guess, but like this one, the flap's gone, that kind of stuff. But this one is a pretty cute book as well, but if you hand it to your kid or have it readily available where they can reach and pull things, Sometimes the flaps might go away, but this one is a good book as well. Now, this one is another lift and flat book, but it has sturdier like board book flaps, if that makes sense. So this is called Peak of Flap Boo. And this one is pretty like educational, I would say. So they have a little bit more words and then it has like pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, it like kind of points out and there's the word for what it is. And they are thicker flaps, if you can see that. Um, but it also kind of gives you more of the history behind Halloween. Like most of the pumpkins grown in the United States are grown on farms in Illinois. Just kind of different tidbits that you don't get. Pick your favorite costume in the parade and it says like what all of the costumes are. And then like this one is like where the word werewolf c came from. Just different kind of actual facts that your toddler can learn versus just like a fictional book. So this one kind of is a little bit of non-fiction in the fiction, but Jackson likes this one as well. A lot of different things to open and play with and just different things to learn. Now this one isn't Halloween Halloween, but it's a monster book, so I put it in here. This is the There's a Monster in Your Book, and I picked this up when I was visiting Myrtle Beach this past summer just to kind of get a different book but this book is so cute there are a couple other ones there's like there's an elf for Christmas I'm gonna pick up there's a dragon all that kind of stuff there's different things in here but basically it is this little cute monster guy and it's telling you to shake the book turn the page you have to tickle his feet or tickle the monster you have to blow the monster away just different things your child can interact with the book. You have to wiggle the book, things like that. And it's just fun to kind of imagine there is a little monster in your book and you have to do all these things. So Jackson was really obsessed with this book. He's kind of grown out of it. We were very obsessed with this book, if you know what I mean. Now we're obsessed with spooky Pookie and Spooky Wheels on the Bus, but this one is another really cute book if you are wanting a more interactive book with your little one. A classic book is the It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. They also have the TV show as well, but this is the book and it's just kind of the paperback book. And in this one I've read a couple times to Jackson. It definitely has like longer paragraphs and words in it, if you can see, but it goes along with the same storyline. If you haven't heard of this book or the series before, basically it's a Charlie Brown Halloween. There's a great pumpkin that I think Linus wants that brings presents and stuff and he waits for the great pumpkin and the pumpkin patch while Halloween parties going on. So it's a pretty classic story if you follow along with Charlie Brown things like that so I do read this book to Jackson but it is probably towards the older side of it depends every now and then if he will sit and read the whole book but this is in our Halloween collection now this one I love this series from this is Natasha Wings the night before Halloween she also has a lot of other night before preschool, night before kindergarten, night before Thanksgiving, night before 4th of July. She has all the night befores. I love them. Here, I'll show you guys the back page. is all of the night before books. And it's the same, like, tune. You can read it as the same tune as Twas the Night Before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But she changes the words a bit for whatever the theme is. And this one is like, Twas the Night Before Halloween and all through the house. All the creatures were stirring except for the mouse. And this one is just really cute because it is kind of all the monsters living in the house, getting ready for Halloween. Kids are getting dressed up for Halloween. All that kind of stuff. So I like the books that you kind of already know the tune to read it in your head or has kind of like a song kind of thing. Jackson likes this one as well. So a cute kind of 
more mature book, I guess, but little kids would like it as well. A fall book we actually got from the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. If you haven't heard of Dolly Parton Imagination Library, I'll see if I can leave the link down below, but she basically gives kids, I think under four, I may be wrong, a free book a month. You just kind of have to put your address, how old your kid is, and she will send a free book a month and I really liked that program if you're interested again the link will be down below completely free and we've enjoyed getting new books and with the age you get different kind of books that would be best suited for your toddler or baby so this one came and this is the one leaf two leaves count with me and Jackson's been obsessed with this one because it has like two leaves on the tree so I tell Jackson to count two leaves and then basically the leaves grow and it's springtime, but then it's fall time and they all change color and fall. And then you count down from 10 leaves to one, they become a bed, just different things like that. This goes through all the seasons, kind of teaching the child kind of the different ways a tree kind of grows and falls and all that kind of stuff for the seasons. So pretty cute. I use this kind of in my fall Halloween material because I mean, leaves changing. I guess it would be good for spring too, but this book is with my fall stuff right now. One of my favorite books and Jackson's favorite books as well, I have mentioned this in my Mommy Toddler Favorites from this past month. I'll link it in the cards, but this is the Shake Dim Halloween Bones. And this is more like a hip hop Halloween ball kind of thing. It has like the Shake Your Sillies Out theme song kind of, but different words. And it has, it's just a good book with all the different main kind of fairy tale character, characters. You have Little Red Riding Hood, Jack and the Beanstalk, kind of different illustration for diversity in your little one's library as well. There's Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but it's just another one of those sing-along kind of songs. You know the tune in the back of your head and just a different kind of storyline. They're all kind of getting ready for the Halloween ball. And it's just a fun, cute book, something different to add to your child's library. And then last one, which a lot of y'all, especially if you have boy toddlers, have heard of is the Little Blue Truck series. So the Little Blue Truck has a bunch of different books. There's the Little Blue Truck, like original, goes to town, springtime, Christmas, all of that kind of stuff. We pretty much now have all of them. And this is the Halloween one. So all of the animals are all dressed up like this one is a little duck and these are lifted flat books so it's me the ballerina quacks is the duck it's me it's me so it's just a fun book to kind of be like oh well, what is this oh it's a cow what does the cow say moo and have the lift and flap as well so such a fun book these are thicker kind of lift and flaps too so these haven't ripped on us yet and we got this last year this one's a little bent but yeah, this is a really cute book for your little one as well. But that is everything for this Halloween fall time toddler a book kind of collection haul, whatever we want to call this thing. But let me know if you have any toddler Halloween favorite books or favorite books to read to your kids during the season down below. I'm always on the hunt for new seasonal books, especially Halloween and Christmas. I will be doing a Christmas video for our Christmas books as well here on my channel, so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date when it gets closer to that time. But I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it